What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? That was a cool, that was a cool event. Uh, had a great weekend with that. So I thought it was time to put it on the truck. But anyway, it's your time of year again. Wearing the t-shirts. Remember, Go pick up your t-shirt, link down below. I'd like for you to support the channel a little bit. We got so much going on this year. Right now, I am going to set the camera down. We're gonna pop up in the back of the truck because I'm gonna start getting things ready. We're going camping in a couple weeks. But uh, we're gonna go through everything and see what all we gotta put back in here. I've taken a few things out. It's time to take a couple things out and put more things back in. So we'll take a look at the loadout. Not much has changed. All right, guys, I'm back. So, like I said, not much is changing this year as far as camping goes. Um, chuck box staying the same, stove and all that. The only thing I got to put back in here is my fuel canister holder that I put up there near the firewood. Uh, tent's already in here. My broom's in here, as you can see. Uh, the um, cot's already in here. The only thing I will have to add before May is I'll have to put Chloe's cot uh, back in here and that's it uh, and chair but uh, I'm gonna stick with the umbrella setup now the weekend we did the big camp out I'm probably gonna do my big canopy instead um, the reason for being is to have a little more shade but place to get it out of if it does rain any we'll have somewhere to get and sit and talk and all that good stuff um, but I'll be taking it I did waterproof or water treat that so hopefully it won't be um leaking like it did in gatlinburg or in smokies but anyway um not much is changing um by now you've already seen the light that i'm adding to my system that's the only thing that is changing i'm fixing to uh look in the garage over there my workbench is over there Fix them, do some reworking around it. I'm going to set up a charging station just for my uh, USB chargeable lights that I use uh, in there so I can, you know, charge them a day or two before we go, uh, before I go on trips. And that way they're charged and ready and I can just unplug them, bring them out to the truck, put them in there. Put them in their home, which is that clear tote right there. That's where I keep all my lights in. Uh, that tote just has miscellaneous stuff, um, axes, stuff for the truck. You never know what's got. Uh, that keeps all my matches and stuff. I'm going to do something else with the matches, stuff like that. But everything else, it worked so good this year, this last year. I'm not changing anything. I'm going to stay with the system as I rolled with this year, this past year. Chug box, I'm not changing anything about it. The only thing I have thought about doing is for the big camp out maybe taking my big coleman stove this year uh run propane on it but for the most part i'll be using the single burner when it's just me myself and i but with chloe um may end up taking it too so that way i've got two stoves to cook on twice as much cooking as normal but uh so that's about it on this one i mean about it as far as getting stuff ready don't forget may 13th through the 15th come to the mountain state park uh, we'd love to have everybody we can get out there to camp with us but uh for the most part i'm looking at everything all my systems worked out great tent worked out great the chuck box worked out great everything worked out the way i needed it to so anyway um probably be running the bigger cooler in the truck this time for the trip because I'll have more food. Me and Chloe and I'll use my small one when it's just me. But uh, yeah, this has got to go back in there, but the lantern's not. I'm not using the lantern anymore. Don't have any need for it. Just saving it home in case the, ooh, got dark. In case the power goes out or whatever, we'll save them for in-house use. But I will be putting my fuel canisters back in, leave them in that tote so they're kind of protected. <clears throat> but that's it for now um, I don't know may come back with some other things that I've got 
So, I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. So it's going to be a short, simple little video for the Saturday. Um, just get my gear ready for um, spring camping. Um, meant to do some camping in February, but it has turned crap. So uh, anyway, I'll be getting out here a couple of weeks, and maybe first of April before I really hit the first campsite. But uh, yeah, we had a good weekend this past weekend. That video will be out in a couple of weeks. Uh, should be out on Tuesday. Um, but uh, got a hat while I was there. That was a really cool event. Really, really cool event. Riding for a soldier's child. <clears throat> we had a great time. Didn't tear nothing up. We all came back in one piece. All the vehicles came back in one piece. So that was a win-win situation. But anyways, guys, they raised a bunch of money. We had a good time. Um, that's it for this week. I appreciate you watching. Be prepared. See you on the next one. Don't forget to meet up. Don't forget to go buy your mid-10 t-shirts or hoodies. Remember, links down below to all this good stuff. And we'll see you on the next one. Be prepared.